morning and welcome to a new LP. Metroid 3? Um, I thought this was something else. Oh yeah, Super Metroid. Um, okay, well, this is a blind LP. I think this is the first time I've actually done a... No. Only with the short games. I've, I've done blind LPs of really short games before, but those hardly count. This is a real blind LP. Um, and I just bought myself a new controller for my computer, and that's the main reason that I wanted to do, you know, a, a game like this, because it's... This controller is, like, perfectly built for a Super Nintendo game, so, um... But, you know, why don't I do one that's got some actual action in it? You know, the LPs I've been doing were RPGs, so... Um... Okay, this is good to know. Okay. I think I can make do with that. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Whoa, voice acting? In a Super Nintendo game? Oh, it's pretty limited, of course. Still, I'm impressed. visited in newer games, doesn't it? Yes, I... Well, okay. I guess the thing is that I'm playing this game for the first time, and, well, the la this is after Other M came out, so it's like, oh great, this being important again, but really, the years between this game and Other M were quite a few, so, you know, people had time to forget, I guess. <laughs> A distress signal. Of course. Wait. You mean the place that I just left? Hey, that looks like exactly like Ragnarok from Mega Man Zero Four. Well, I suppose it's Ragnarok that looks exactly like this, because this game is older. I have to get over the fact that this game is way older than what I'm used to. Okay. Okay. Alright. Y doesn't yet have any function. Okay. L and R does that. Start and select don't do anything yet either. Oh, wait. Okay. I got it. Getting the hang of the, the basic controls here. Ah! No, 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 no. Only thing I don't like about my um controller 
is that it doesn't register as input to my uh, computer, so my screen goes to sleep after a little while. I'll, after I'm done recording this first part, I'm going to make it so that my computer doesn't go to sleep for a much longer period of time, because, oh hey there little guy. Do I have to shoot your cave open? Cage open? Oh, oh! Do I have the charge shot? No. Guess I don't have more ball or anything, so. For once in the series, I actually start out with the most basic stuff. That actually doesn't happen very often. Usually they. It seems like they give it to you and then take it away. Maybe they suck at this. I can get myself killed like this. Burn it. No matter what I do, I still get hit. How did I know he was gonna fly through the screen? Oh. I thought that was gonna be regular attack, like it usually is, but okay. We can do an evacuate immediately. That's something I know how to do, for sure. And this music certainly hasn't gone away over the years. That's familiar enough. Whoa! It's getting all tilty on me. Okay. There we go. Plenty of time, though. That wasn't so bad. Oh! Guess the whole game doesn't take place on a space station. Oh. We're going back to however you pronounce this place. There's so much debate about it, so I'm just not even going to say it for fear that someone will say, No, you're pronouncing it wrong! How could you? You jerk! Okay, well, that was fun. Oh. Can I, like... Oh, I see I have to press down. I thought so, though, that I could save at my ship. Yeah, I'm gonna save right now. And that's gonna be the end of this first episode. I'm not sure how long it was, but... Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Super Metroid. Last time I started the game. Today I'm on a completely different planet and I have no idea what to do. Something tells me I can't get through there yet. Good time, I'm sure. jump out and attack me. They keep moving around. Maybe they're just watching me. I don't keep going there either. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you guys are probably gonna be frustrated and going, No, you need to go there! Probably everyone in the world has played this game except for me. Well, I guess that means I am the only person capable of doing a blind LP of this. Well, I guess that's 
one good thing to be said for not having played popular games, right? Good news is there's a lot of games for which that is true for me. Okay. I like how I keep shooting and there is nothing to shoot whatsoever. I hope there becomes something to shoot soon. What's this? Oh, it's an elevator. For a second there, I thought I could, like, drop through it or something. But, nope, it's an elevator. Okay, then. So, like, oh, okay, so that, that's what the menu is all about. And I have absolutely nothing. No upgrades. Some games are nice and act like, oh, just having your power suit is an upgrade. Right? Well, I mean, it's a thing that you have. Oh, I came down here for now. Well, the power suit's a thing. Being able to shoot stuff is a thing. Not very useful things. Okay, yes they are. I'm sorry, game. Besides, I'm not even criticizing this game. I'm criticizing other games. I'm talking about them behind their back. It's a terrible thing to do. Okay, why is this thing... be enemies from here on out? I hope so. Getting bored of not having anything to shoot. The blocks. If I wanted to just break a bunch of blocks, I'd go play Minecraft. Um. Aha! I got missiles. Okay, select that how. Oops. Oh, with select. That makes sense. Uh, that's right, it was talking about the item. It was like item select on the controls menu or something like that. Oh, I see. You can shoot straight up. Can you shoot straight down? Maybe if you're jumping, can you shoot straight down? Yes, you can. Alrighty. Okay, I'm starting to understand this a little bit. The whole aiming thing in this game. I think that's the scheme that they used in Fusion. I don't, I don't know, it's been so long since I played that game. I mean, it certainly wasn't right when it came out or anything, but... Yay, things to shoot! Oh, and they're actually... Shooting you back, even. In a slightly challenging way, except they all die in one hit. When I say slightly challenging way, I mean it's not like really easy to dodge it, but. 
like I said, they die in one hit, so it's kind of like... Not really a challenge at all. It's harder jumping up these platforms than killing these things. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Man, they have all these maneuvers and everything. How impressive. Oh, man. I was doing so great at just not getting hit. And now look at me. Now, I, now they're dropping health because I am not at full health anymore. Do you see what I've been reduced to? And I can't even get it because it's like not convenient. Oh, yeah, I can't. Prove my health is that's inconvenient. <sighs> American problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Select and start next time. Because I keep getting it wrong. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> Total failure. Right there. Get back here! Okay, good. <laughs> I suck at these games. I really do, too. Oh, I didn't get fully healed. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna make a wild guess and think that Brin Star is my next destination. Oh wait, I don't know how to get through those barriers. Maybe maybe I can use missile stuff. I have no idea. I'm just like making the guesses as sad as that is to say. Maybe yeah, I could have just shot at it until it died. Instead of running around trying to missile it with not very good results. Wait a second. the more fallen the missiles were. I'm thinking I'll probably get the bombs pretty soon. Oh, isn't, aren't these the things that you can freeze and then stand on? It's kind of pointless right there. Hey! Hey! Stop not being in my way. Okay, let's see if I can... Whoops! See? Okay. That's not working. 
Alrighty. Um, what else can I try? Oh. Let's try this way. Shall we? What's this? Huh. Okay. So, I'm basically stuck down here. Alright. I think I'm going to end it off for now. I think I made a bit of progress. All things considered, so... Um, I'll just be back next time on Let's Play Super Metroid Blind. Good morning!